I have the Pixel 8 here with the Android 15 Beta 1 update installed on it. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to gain root access to this beta firmware. Just to be aware that this process will work with all Google Pixel devices as long as it has the Android 15 beta installed on it. And we are not required to factory reset our device. So zero data is going to be lost during this process. However, before we can begin, we are going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. For example, you will need to have the bootloader unlocked before you can root the Pixel phone. If you haven't done this already, then have a look through the videos here on my channel as I have done a bootloader unlock tutorial for the Pixel 7, 6 series, the Pixel 7 series, the Pixel 8 series, and many more. ADB and Fastboot tools are going to be required on the desktop or laptop PC that you're working on. And again, if you're not familiar with this, or if you have not installed that yet, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a link to a dedicated video that I have that shows the easiest way to install ADB and Fastboot tools. Now you're also going to need to have the Magisk application installed. Just be sure that whenever you download it, you're getting it directly from their GitHub page. And you will also need to manually download the same Android 15 beta firmware that is currently installed on your device. So you're going to need to go to this Android 15 factory image page and then begin looking for your device in the list so that you can download the beta firmware that matches what is installed on your smartphone or tablet. So here we have the firmware file that I had downloaded. And when we extract that, we get this folder with these set of files. Now you're gonna have another zip file in here. And when we go into here, you're gonna find a boot.img and an init underscore boot dot i m i g now we're going to go ahead and extract both of these files so we have the boot image file and the i n i t underscore boot dot image file now since i have the pixel 8 and the regular root tutorial requires that i patch the i n i t underscore boot dot image file then this is the file that I'm going to be copying to my phone with the Magisk app installed. However, if you have an older Pixel phone and that root tutorial requires that you patch the regular boot image file, then you'll want to copy that to your phone instead. Now the more recent Google Pixel devices only deal with the init underscore boot image file. So again, I'm going to copy this file to my Pixel 8. Once we have that image file to our device, we're going to open up the Magisk application. And then we're going to tap on the install button up here in the top card area. Now we're going to select the select and patch a file. And then we're going to want to browse to our downloads folder or any folder that we stored that image file into. So then I'm going to select this init underscore boot image file. And then I'm going to tap on the let's go button right here. Now Magisk is going to take that file. It's going to go through it and patch the required bits. Then it's going to give us an output file that's saved within our downloads folder. 
this output file will be labeled magisk underscore patched some other letters and numbers dot img. So now I'm going to take that image file and I'm going to copy it from the pixel back to the PC and we're going to save it in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Then let's reboot our Google Pixel device into Fastboot mode. And again, if you're not familiar with how this is done, I'll have a dedicated guide linked in the video description below. Now, before we actually do anything, remember our Google Pixel device is in fast boot mode. It's connected to the PC with a USB cable. And we have opened up a terminal, a Windows PowerShell, or a command prompt within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And before doing anything like this, it's always a good idea to check and make sure that our PC is able to communicate with our device. And when it's in Fastboot mode, the command to do that is Fastboot space devices, like I've typed out here, and then press enter. Now you should see this Fastboot response with the serial number of the phone that you're currently have connected. Now, as long as everything is working properly, we're then going to type out the command fastboot space flash space INIT underscore boot. More modern pixel devices require this INIT underscore boot image file to be patched. So we're going to be flashing that patched file to that specific partition. Then after that, we're going to do a space and then we're going to type out that file name of magisk underscore patched. And a great tip is that after you have begun typing out the file name, as long as that file is in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools, then we can simply just press the tab button on the keyboard and it will auto complete that file name for us. So now from here, Again, the command is fastboot space flash space INIT underscore boot and then a space and then that big file name. So from here, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and we should get two OK responses from this. It should send that file OK and then it should write that file to the partition OK. And again, as long as we got two OK messages there, we turn our attention back to our Google Pixel. We can unplug that USB cable. And we're just going to make sure that this top option it has the start option highlighted and selected. And we're going to press the power button to select it. You're going to see the screen go black as the Google Pixel phone reboots. And it's gonna take us through the typical boot animation process. Remember, we have not done a factory data reset. We have not lost any data during this process. See here, we are still on the beta. We still have all of our apps. So after we boot back into Android, the first thing that I do is open up the Magisk application because sometimes there are additional setup steps required. So after you open up Magisk, if you see this, we're gonna go ahead and tap on OK. And then you're gonna be told that Magisk is going to reboot the device again. So just like before, the phone is going to reboot. And just like before, 
it's going to go through that normal boot cycle process with the boot animation. And we are taken right back into Android again with all of our apps installed. And again, we're going to launch the Magisk application to check and make sure that it is now installed. So if you remember before, in the installed section, it said no, but now it tells us that version 27.0 is installed. We can even go into the Google Play Store and search for root checker. There are a few free root checker apps. This is the one that I usually go with. It's a quick install. We open it up. And then we tap the verified root button here. That's going to trigger our super user request for Magisk, which we can grant. And you can see we now have root access on the Android 15 beta. Now, I do realize that this is Android 14 right here, but that's because the app has not been updated to detect Android 15 properly since it is still in beta. You can even go through to the settings area, the about phone section, and again, check on that Android version to make sure that we do indeed have Android 15 installed. And that wraps up today's video on how to root the Google Pixel series after it has the Android 15 beta installed on it. If you ran into any issues during this process, then please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. I cannot promise that I will have the time to reply to everyone but I do always bring up the channel comments when I have some free time throughout the day, and I'll try to reply as quickly as I'm able to.